Right, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to recover a corrupted master boot record. Now, the error code you're seeing on here is a blue screen of diff, and yours could be slightly different, but it is an error code, nevertheless, that you might be trying to repair. When you start your system up, you may see something like repairing automatic repair. This is Windows trying to repair itself, and you normally get this after a crash on Windows after three times. So if you get a crash on Windows three times, you'll get this uh, scenario happening here. But once you get to the next screen, you'll be able to go into the advanced options. So you can see here, automatic repair, and we can go to advanced options. Now you can also get to this by holding the shift key down and restarting the PC. But if you can't get to your desktop because your PC is corrupted, then this is how you can get to it. So go to, choose an option, troubleshoot, and then you'll get the option to reset your PC if you wish. And this will keep your data, but it will remove all your programs and reinstall Windows. Or you can go down to the advanced options and then click on uh, the command prompt. Command prompt is going to open up a little black box here, which is a command prompt box, which is going to allow us to put in a bunch of commands to try and fix our master boot record. Now you can see we're on X colon backslash Windows backslash system 32. So we can change this to our Windows directory if we wish by going C colon and then typing DIR to see whether we have any sort of Windows directory there. We don't. So let's go C colon and then DIR. And you can see here, we do have a Windows directory. Sometimes it does change when you're in this environment. So don't worry too much. It is still on C, but in this environment, it's showing up as on D. So then we need to put in our first command, which is boot rec space forward slash fix MBR. And then we can push enter and this will say the operation completed successfully. The next command is going to be boot rec space forward slash fix boot. Now, when you push enter here, sometimes you get access denied and this is pretty common, but we can work around this and get it fixed. I'll show you how to do that. So when we push this command in, you can see here access denied and we can't uh, put that command in, but we do need to use it because we want to fix our boot record. So go boot sect space forward slash nt60 space sys i.e s y s and then you can type that in as you see it on the screen here and then push enter once you push enter you should now see that that is successfully uh, updated the ntfs file system boot code and now we can go in there and type boot rec space forward slash fix boot so let's go ahead and type that out for you so I'm going to quickly type this one out and we should now be able to continue on with our fixing our master boot record. So I'm going to go ahead and type this out, push enter and the operation completed successfully. Next up, we need to do the final command, which is going to be uh, boot rec space forward slash rebuild BCD. So let's go ahead and uh, type this out and push enter. Now you can see here it's not detected an operating system here because I'm on a virtual machine. But if you're on a real machine, it will detect your operating system. And then you can go ahead and say uh, Y for yes or A for all. And it will just go ahead and write that for you and then exit and then reboot your computer. You want to shut it down first and then start your PC up and then hopefully you should get to the desktop and that should resolve your issue. If it doesn't resolve your issue, you still have access to choose an option where you can go in and reset your PC. You can back up your data and use the reset this PC. So I'm just going to quickly shut this down and start up our PC and get to the desktop. Hopefully once we get there, the system will boot. And there we go. We're at the desktop here. Now there's also system restore. If you have that enabled and startup repair, you can try, but those don't generally work very well. And a system restore might work for you. Now, if you do have errors still, your drive could be failing, or you could have some malicious rootkit or malware on the system, and you may need to reset your PC to remove it properly. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.